there was a thing called Troll IRC, and there were many people who hooked up and had sex through that a bunch of fucking dirtbag pieces of garbage. However, I have something more interesting. Two of them detailing their encounter. Look, these guys, they're like early internet trolls, so they're probably not that bad. Lundy, what? Should we hear from the girl or the boy first? Hell, I don't know. I'll flip a coin. Heads, girl. Oh, I guess I don't get to choose. Tail, vote. Vote. <laughs> um, vote. Oh, no. Two people and you want to vote. We have to agree, otherwise we're at a stalemate, fuck. I vote the girl. <laughs> I vote That's the girl hard. as well. It was the, I, it was tail, so you're doing the boy first. Okay. So we so it's not actually a democracy. This is entirely I tried to do the democracy and you're too busy trying to talk about what the Grinch's cum tastes like over there. <laughs> well, I won't be hearing it. Oh, it probably tastes horrible. Probably. It tastes like misery and sadness. Lundy, read the chat log. Uh, so this is Jumbo and Remy and Snoopy. Mostly okay. Jumbo, Mostly Jumbo. Okay, so... Different voices or not, it doesn't matter, whatever. It's good. Just wanted to give a heads up on that. Jumbo begins! Okay, so first I notice she has man hands. And I'm a soldier, so I'm still gonna do it. And I notice that her, that her neck is as big around as my leg, but I'm still gonna do it. So we get by our house, and she wants steak and shake, so I buy like a gentleman. And she orders double fries. That was the second sign of doom. So we get to her house, and I swear to God, I felt like I walked into a room out of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There's a big dent in her bed where she sleeps, and I'm kind of nervous, but shit, whatever. So she makes me massage her back and her ass, and I do it because I'm, I'm too nice or something. So after a bit of this, she wants me to go down on her, but she's in doggy-style position, and she wants me to lick her ass while down there. I'm OG, so I'm sucking the devil's onion ring. Then I start eating at the Y. But she's oh, kind of big. Hang on, I should probably show a picture of this fine lady. But she's kind of big, so I gotta get my face in it. And it's hard to breathe, so my nose is in her cunt. And I guess I was blowing air in there, because after a bit she flipped over and let out a wicked queef. So then I'm going down on her, and she's pushing my face all in it. And I'm kind of suffocating down there, but I keep doing my job, and I get her off. So I ask for some head. I had to think of everything but her and try my hardest, but I got off. And then I go back down on her while I'm limp. And it's okay. So I start hitting it soon enough. And I had to summon all my might to stay up for the occasion. It's talking the, like a Sin City character. And eventually she squirts on me and said she didn't know she came. Yeah, this she, that sounds like a Frank Miller character. But she got up to piss and I'm kind of happy about this. <laughs> Okay, sorry, the Ronnie. city is my mother and my lover and my whole... I hate then, her. I love her. Then I go to piss, and I'm feeling guilty, so I poured Listerine on my dick to wash out the sorrow. This is a bad idea, by the way. So, I passed out later in the morning, this sort of repeated, and I'm going to cry myself to sleep forever now. I got to go like kind of used car guy. Remy picks Jaw up off floor. What kind of bitch are you? I did it for the lulls, Remy. I did it for the lulls. Oh, man, after my own heart. Uh, one second. Honestly, just based off of this picture, she does look that I would try to have gone after in my own. Remy, so I'll have to use very distinct voices here in order to differentiate them. Remy will be like this. And of course... We got Jumbo over here like this. And I'm thinking about doing one of these for Snoopy. Or should I do one of these? Uh, no, go with the, the 40k orc. <laughs> all right, man. You dumb git. Tell me all! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Last I heard, she got there, and we were all scared for him. She's a nasty bitch. Does she have a hunchback in that picture? I can't tell. No, she's leaned over. She's just a fat girl. I'm sorry, though, for Jumbo. Brownie face. 
Yeah, seriously, but it is funny. Listerine his dick. Gotta take a shower at my place. Man, must, must have left stank odor on him. Ugh, I hate her. We all know about her stanky ass. He was warned. What an idiot. Oh, I'm glad I, do, I know about this chick now. I told him not to. He's an idiot. I really hope he wrapped up. BRB, joint time. Okay. Ha ha ha, back. Heh, you like that? By the way, you knew I was dumb. You were warned. I tossed a nut in a hole I didn't like. Yeah, but you. I mean, what did you get out of it? Adderall, at least? Well, I got up, my girl. She swooped me up and I rocked her. You ate her out. OMFG. You read what I said. Are there any pics? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm a soldier. No, she got one of me, though. People think you're joking. No, that's all fact. Every word. Every single word. God damn. Yeah, live and learn. <laughs> well, I'm sorry for you. That's all, Listerine dick. <laughs> you're crazy. Every single word. That shit went down. Snoopy is saying she should have given me money, but I'm going to be honest. I feel sorry for her. She isn't long for this world. <laughs> I feel like with that voice, Lundy, you should be talking. Picket line. <laughs> It'd be a bad idea, buddy. You go back past that picket line. I can't be guaranteed that you're gonna be going home to your wife and kids. Unless it's in a box. Um. <laughs> Maybe we'll be nice. Maybe we'll put you in a burlap sack and beat you with rakes. <laughs> That's what my granddad did to fucking scabs when he was a teamster. <laughs> How fat is she? I wanted pics. You told me sake. those stories. Okay, those pics she has online are two years old. A lot can happen. How fat? She was like, I weigh 170. But it was no 170. You know what? I figured out what this voice is reminding me of. What? This is what Chris Pratt was trying to do in Detective Pikachu. <laughs> This is the voice. Ryan Reynolds. He was, yeah, Ryan Reynolds. Fuck, I thought it was Chris Pratt that did it. <laughs> no, Chris Pratt Mario. Did Mario. Oh, yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm 160. And she smokes like a chimney. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I did pick the right voice for this. <laughs> yeah, you did. Ew. Sometimes it just comes to you like it's 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 a it's spirits haunt you. <laughs> yeah. It eats way too much and takes too many meds. What's she order? Oh dude, you should have got some meds. Fresco melt and double fries. Who says I didn't? Haha, <laughs> good. I was asking. I swiped the shit and she left the room. I'm cold. <laughs> good. What else? Details. Let me think. The fucking. I told you about the dent in her bed where she sleeps, right? Yes. <laughs> when I was trying to sleep, it was like I was getting pulled into a black hole. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just imagining the fox from Adventure Time being like, yep, see that depression? You don't get a depression like that unless you earn it. <laughs> oh, the Adventure Time was really clever sometimes. <laughs> uh, Remy laughs. She wouldn't turn on the lights because she's so self conscious. Pancake makeup? She swore up and down she didn't have no dick rot, and I told her I'd kill her if she was bullshitting. See, this is the difference between me and this guy. I was, I was a fucking guy. I was doing the same thing as he was. But I treated these fucking monsters like they were princesses. At least during the act. Yeah, I went in there and I fucking just... <laughs> it's like a knight going into a tower to save the princess from the dragon. I kick open the door, I fucking plunge my sword into the heart of the princess, and I look deep into the dragon's eyes, and I'm like, beautiful creature I've ever seen. You didn't use a rubber? Worried face. Let me think here. OMFG. Yes, but not for oral. Oh, phew. Who gets head with a condom? One, well, you can still get STDs from fucking 
Oral, you moron. And also, <laughs> two STDs aren't real. Three, Adam Friedland. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they taste like shit, but she's a skank. Anyways. Isn't he a pedophile now, or something? Or is it... That's that Adam, 22, Adam 22, Matt. Okay, good. I was like, wouldn't it be weird if, like, out of Comptown, the only unproblematic ultimately is Nick? <laughs> yeah. Let's Adam, see. Adam's a pedophile. Nick, like, Stavros turns out to be a joke thief or something. And then Nick is like, what's the worst thing he ever did was he said the N-word a couple of times on that podcast, I guess. It was so hard to nut in her. <laughs> That I couldn't the first time. Oh, God. But don't go breaking her heart. Serious. <laughs> I'm sorry. The things that he says works too well with the voice I picked. I'm yeah, so also, mad. Dirty liar. He broke her heart. He is going to break her heart. And I would never do that. Again, like the one time I couldn't come into a bitch. And it wasn't even because of her. It was because I was so fucking drunk. I was like, I cannot do that. I cannot even stay conscious so you know i just fucking blew some snot into my hand and threw it on her back he was like there we go (laughs) i came i'm done jesus christ matt if you excuse me i want to roll over look look (laughs) i shortchanged that woman on the experience but i did give her the illusion lady (laughs) your pussy is so good it made me come in two minutes. Babe, your pussy just got mind freaked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there was the other time I had whiskey dick real fucking bad, and I was yeah, just like... Please tell me. I grabbed it. I, <laughs> it's the only time I ever used a condom, because I put the condom on a candlestick. <laughs> you fucking disgusting freak. <laughs> What I'm saying is, this guy would not have done that. <laughs> he, I love how Matt always tries to one up the fucking weirdos that we read about. He's yeah. like, nah, I'm weirder than this motherfucker. No, nah, like, this guy, like, the game recognizes game. He's one of my rivals. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was also a fel- Fuck. Hell, looking at the, 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 the timestamps on these pictures, he was doing this shit at the same time I was doing this shit. So he was literally my rival. If I ran into this motherfucker and he was trying to go after this bitch and I was trying to go after him, oh, I would fucking sabotage him so fucking much. I'm not out to hurt anyone. She was the epitome of an unemployable IRC addict. Frowny face. But yeah, I don't know how I feel. I wouldn't do it again. And I told her I had a good time. And just now, I swear to God, I found a pube in Snoopy's keyboard. And Ah. yet, and yet, and yet, (laughs) you're telling people this on an IRC chat after acknowledging she is an IRC chat addict. You know what, Goat? I don't need to be Columbo. Mm. Or an even dumber detective, like one of the ones on CSI or something, to figure out, like, I'm pretty sure the the the, the woman you mentioned earlier, I think I know who that's going to be. <laughs> I'd call it a youthful digression, but I'm too old for that. It was just a mistake. <laughs> for a second, I thought you were going to say, I, th- I was going to call it a euthanasia. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mistake. Don't be hating. Yeah, it is a little Danny DeVito. Hang on. What's a Pikachu? Okay, so yeah, in the first picture, you can tell that she's like laying down and she's got like a massive body. In the second picture, she's kind of like hiding her body and just kind of like showing off that she has tits. No, like she's a, in a like in nature. In nature, like most predators, they use. There you go, Wendy. That's her side of things. Okay, here we go. Let's see what voice you give to her. See, Jumbo come by my house. Jumbo come yeah. by my house. He come 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 by. I throw a rock at his head. He fucking tried to kill me. See, goat's going good. like more like weird Caribbean racism. I was going. Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, oh. job of the hut. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't oh. want to do that the whole time because there are a lot of lines here. <laughs> there's there's oh, a lot do here. It, do it the entire time. I mean, speaking Jabba's native tongue as perfectly as possible. I mean, you could do that. You could just make up a bunch of shit and just not read it and just be like, I'm <laughs> and, up. and then by the end, just be like, that's what she said. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was it. That will the if you translate that correctly, then you'll be able to understand. But <laughs> I will say, if you do that, that will give. When the ends up filibustering us like Jimmy Stewart, we we spend like forty five hours just recording this one episode. This <laughs> Lundy just goes off into a job of the hut fugue state. <laughs> And then I can be like the little salacious crumb fucking lizard. It's your natural tone. Uh, something Fuck. more, something more doable long term here. Um. <clears throat> So he PayPal's me gas buddy, and I drive there, pick him up, and refused to look him in the face. We stopped by a steak and shake and get something to eat. It was a regular order of fries, not double. His not-so-thin self ate half of them anyway. We're back at my house, waiting for my friend Jason to stop by to pick something up, and Jumbo wouldn't stop trying to get me to fuck around with him. So after Jason leaves, he tries stepping up his game, and I kept delaying and delaying by telling him I wasn't relaxed enough. So I'm sitting on the bed, dicking around on my laptop, and he was being real touchy-feely with me, playing with my hair, rubbing my ass, and telling me I'm beautiful and to stop being so shy, etc. So finally, I'm just like, fuck it, maybe a massage will help me be comfortable with him and hopefully in the mood. I lay on my stomach and he starts rubbing my back and butt and eventually starts eating my ass and going down on me. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. What a gross bitch. Oh yeah, Both now. Of them. <laughs> the Look, oral... I didn't realize it at first. <laughs> yeah, the way they've been talking up till now it's just been the two of high society talking to each other. Yeah. I'd assume that this was Alexander Graham Bell and Thomas Edison. Instead look, of, you know, an average you, Baltimore couple. Look, for you fucking highfalutin just life in front of you fucking do-gooders, these might be some degenerates, but to me, they're my distinguished competition. Don't <laughs> talk to me like I'm some city folk. <laughs> The oral sucked. He really had no clue. You know, if I knew a city in your dumb state, I'd fucking lay libel you by saying you're Yeah. yeah. If you knew if you knew what city I was in, you would be doing that. Yeah, what shitty. I'm on my phone again. So I kept trying to give him instructions, but he still couldn't do it any good. I just eventually grabbed his head and grinded myself onto his mouth in the hopes I could get myself off. Somewhat worked. I had like a mini orgasm and then lit up a cigarette, popped on the TV, and sat across the bed from him. After a while, he bugged me to turn off the TV so we could mess around more, and I did so. I gave him a head, and then he went down on me for a couple minutes till he got hard again, and we started fucking. After like 10 minutes, I realized that I really wasn't enjoying myself, so I told him I had to get up and go pee. I came back a couple minutes and told him I was tired and just wanted to go to sleep so that I could wake up for a few in a few hours and listen to Opie and Anthony. <laughs> uh, hell, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of the OG Opie and Anthony fans. Wait. This is, Matt, this is our kin. Wait. What? Are you wanting to know her name? I think I recognize the guy's name. Jumbo? Yeah. Miss Levy. Miss Slavy. That one doesn't ring any bells, but Jumbo does. 
Am I going to have to look up Whack Bag Jumbo and see if anything can Nah, up? it probably won't be there because they moved servers like a while ago. Stuff. That and also, you know, they want a good road. Real. <laughs> Realize the next morning that my dad decided to take the day off, but was both a blessing and a curse. I was glad that it would be a good excuse for us not to have sex, but it was a curse because my parents haven't seen me with an ugly dude before, and I didn't want to think them to think that I lowered my standards. He wanted to fool around more during the day, so I figured, what the hell, since I had been putting it off all morning. He went down on me again, and we fucked again, but I let him finish this time. Bitch! You just said you you had a good excuse not to have sex, and then you did it anyway. Look, Lundy, the thing you have to realize is this is this is like Rashomon, but way grosser. <laughs> <laughs> we watched TV for a while. I can't believe then... I made a comparison to Rashomon to something on the podcast. <laughs> Feels wrong. <laughs> We watched TV for a while, and they took me out to dinner, and then we headed back to Toledo. Halfway there, he grabs my hand, starts massaging it, and then whips out his cock and puts my hand on it and has me jerk him off. Mind you, the whole ride home, he's been telling me he had a good time, kept asking me if I did. Matt, I think he could... Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Matt, what was your name on Whackbag? I'll just add a name, Palm. Okay, continue on the mother. I think you could tell I was completely annoyed by being around him because I was really irritated by the fact I had to drive an extra distance to take him to a friend's house. So I dropped him Honestly, off. You're some... not going to find much. Mainly, I just posted news articles stuck in the drinking thread. So I dropped him off in some really rundown area. As he's getting out of the car, he asked me if we could do it again before he gets shipped off to boot camp. And I told him, yeah, uh, probably not. And he slammed my car pretty hard and walked away, and I sped off fast as I could. Like, 15 minutes before I get home, he calls me and asks me if I was getting home safely or whatever, and I told him I wasn't home yet, and that I'll talk to him online. I get home, scroll up, and see that a fucked up story about what ha happened being told from a different Nick, so I called him. When I was on the phone with him, he was trying to tell me that it was his friend making stuff up, but I knew it was him because he was correct about going down on me in the doggy position and him blowing air into my cunt. <laughs> he finally admitted that he said it and that he didn't know why, and he asked if I'd still want to see him. I said, probably not, and we hung up. <laughs> Alright, so... We know the air true. We have one fact. <laughs> the, the, que the queef is true. Yes. I bitch at him online quite a bit about it, and apparently he was just trying to get himself attention. And he admitted they talked shit because a couple people had joked about him meeting me. Also, because someone told him something pretty dumb, and him being a fucking retard, he believed it. There is a copy paste here, but of them talking, Miss Le Levey. Oh, it's supposed to be LaVey. All right. And Jumbo. Um, like I said, I didn't say a damn thing bad about you. You had no real reason to go and fucking lie to people. I know. Sometimes my inner asshole comes out. I think it was because I was told I got AIDS from you. <laughs> also, like, lady. <laughs> how dare you <laughs> try to take the moral high? You let this motherfucker go ass the vagina on you. <laughs> and I'm assuming you kissed him when you were fucking. Unless you did that weird, like, no fucking mouth action fucking that some people do. <laughs> so, I think it was because I was told I got AIDS from you. Not that you said it, but someone else did. Motherfucker, you were an <laughs> Opie and Anthony listener. What is... What was the one running bit? Well, there are multiple running bits with AIDS on OB. But what was the common denominator all of those bits? AIDS makes you lose weight. <laughs> How she would be the world's fattest AIDS victim by the logic of the, the fucking show you both watch. That fucking blew me away. That someone in hashtag PP41. And I know we don't have confirmation that Jumbo has whacked uh, Opie and Anthony. 
a 100% jumbo watch, Toby Anthony. Yeah. Says that, says that, and his dumbass thinks, OMG, really? If you had just said, dude, it was awesome, people wouldn't be making fun of you over shit you said yourself. <laughs> That's true. They'd be like, haha, you fucked a girl you described as huge with man hands. They wouldn't have said, haha, you fucked a girl who was totally awesome and bad. Yeah. Maybe the military will knock some sense of maturity into you. <laughs> I was attention whoring. Infamy is its own form of celebrity. So he basically admitted to making up shit just for attention, and I don't think anything I said made matters any better. Which is I'm why he continued that. to keep I'm saying Morgan shit. Morgan Freeman, the narrator. I just got back on my integral. <laughs> being called the N-word on every planet. <laughs> Jumbo died in 2009 in Kabul. A mortar hit him. <laughs> There wasn't even enough to put into a plastic baggie to send home. <laughs> uh, which is why he continued to keep uh. saying shit and an attempt to win over Remy. I'm regretting the whole thing more each minute. Ditto. Though, I think I did tell... I did the moment I agreed to anything. I think you could tell that I was fairly apprehensive and had to convince myself I wanted to even do anything. Hence me telling you several times that I had to get comfortable and that I felt tense, etc. Yeah, I could tell there was something on your mind. I wasn't completely feeling it either, which is why I wouldn't kiss you. Yeah. I didn't mind. I didn't really have to pee either. Side diagonal face. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. I thought as much. I wasn't pushing your buttons, I take it. Hmm? Oh, yeah, not really. I thought so, but didn't want to say anything. It may have been more mental than anything. Maybe. I was trying to convince myself I was enjoying things, but didn't work too well. I was kind of losing focus at that point, too. Way too much is going on with me right now, and I wasn't feeling the one-night stand. It's out of me to just fuck someone without a connection. I'm somewhat used to it, though I hardly ever have one-night stands. I thought it would have been bad if I did all that driving for nothing, so I felt obliged to fuck. Tried to make it worth my while. Yeah. I think it was a matter of attraction level. The head was good, though. I don't like facial hair. For me, at least. The sounds made it. The fucking... This is just... If bonobos could fucking communicate like shit, <laughs> this is what they would do. <laughs> this is too fucking primate. And I know, humans are primates. That's not the point of the thing I am saying. What I'm saying is this is two lower life forms to all three of us. And anybody listening to this, I'm really thinking that if I didn't keep saying bad things to him, that he probably would have shut up. Heh, <laughs> we did have fun. Or I did at least. Yeah, when we weren't fucking. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I see. Oral this morning wasn't too bad, though. That, lo that, that line made it, Lundy. That voice. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, tough crowd here tonight. No. <laughs> Oral this morning wasn't too bad, though. Was pissed that my dad took the day off. Well, I do love eating some tang. <laughs> but everyone's different. But it's all good. I'm not ashamed of anything. And then, a little later, he sighs. So you still mad at me? Why? Just curious. I'm thinking maybe I didn't get AIDS and herpes and syphilis. <laughs> You got all three? <laughs> Her Pacific Age? Regular, regular Don Juan, this <laughs> fucking guy. You're an idiot if you think you did. <laughs> There's like a lot of times where I listen. Oh, I was not as bad of a fucking lover as I thought I was. Because <laughs> like I said, I at least tried to fucking be like, look, I don't, I want to make this clear up front. I'm not, I'm non-romantic. I don't care about dating or any long-term shit. I want to fuck. And I find you attractive. I just listened to shit. Like, Mr. Girl was one of those saints, listening to him when he was in Destiny's server for a bit, where it's just like, wow, man, I'm 
fuck, at least I could tell when a woman was like, okay, this ain't happening. And it's just like, you know what, fair enough. Have a pleasant evening. I'm just really bothered that people have known, I've known for years are questioning me about the shit that you said. You know what? <laughs> I'd give her fucking shit, but this was the, the halcyon early days of the internet when people were like, oh, internet friendships are... And sometimes they mean stuff. Like, look at the three of us. I've tried everything in my power to drive you two fucking away. <laughs> you just fucking stick to me. I'm definitely a leftover from that. But, like, bitch, like, this is, like, a lot of people online. <laughs> like, yeah. how many times? <clears throat> All three of us can attest to this. Lundy, from you and me in the Skype days to go when I started up the Discord. That started with, like, 200 people. <laughs> I didn't realize they'd be taken so seriously, or at least not that serious. And then a little later again. I actually would have considered seeing you again if you didn't say what you did. I was expecting to come home and see you lie about good things. Diagonal face! <laughs> Whenever you see that, just think of the, uh, the Minecraft villager sound effect. I don't know what that sounds like. I don't remember the diagonal. I remember the diagonal face. I just don't remember what it's exactly like the word for it is. It's like huh. a meth face. Like it's it's huh. you know, like huh. the, the 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 dash face is like. Been it's replaced. like not happy, but not sad, and not angry. It's you know, it's been, you know it's been you. replaced with. It's like the two. It's been. I don't want to sound like those retard fucking aliens from Star Trek. The the, the, da the, the dash underscore dash. No, I was gonna say it's been replaced by the um. You know, the, the guy holding up both his hands, palms up. Just ah. being like, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> man. Guess I'll die. That guy? Yeah. <clears throat> I should have. But like I said, I was mad at myself. And you became a target. So basically, he's inexperienced, immature, retarded-looking fuck who makes shit up all because of IRC peer pressure of all things. Again, you fucked him. <laughs> you fucked a retard. <laughs> Also, you know what's funny, Go. What? <laughs> One time when I did go back to Whack Bag, I can't remember. I think it was when Jim and Opie finally started fighting each other, and I wanted to see what was happening on Whack Bag at the time. I found the Whack Bag Fet Life thread. Yeah. Oof. We've got like, two new users here joining in on the conversation. Like, Fet Life isn't a good place to begin with, but like, we yeah, see like the, the whack bag users who were on Fet Life and just them going to motels to fuck each other and their fat, dumpy wives who also look like each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's just horrific. We have a guy, we have someone named Vapor and someone named Fire. I think I'm not probably going to do this for Vapor. Why not? Have fun with it. Hey, I like the, the, the jukebox hey, from uh, Old World Blues. Hey, my name's Lymphoma Lincoln. Yeah. Hey, hey, my name, my my name is uh, my my name is Jigaboo Jefferson. You can't even do the voice without fucking making yourself cough. You can't handle it. You can't handle this level of spice. Please don't laugh. <laughs> you fucking cocksucker. No, it wasn't. You, you fucking coughed because you can't handle this fucking voice. You can't handle pretending you got some lymphoma. This is making me think of like I'm Steven Seagal combining <laughs> all of his loves of like Asian oriental cultures man, and some of, other man, stuff than of... Native Americans and being like oh, my, I can't do Steven Seagal. It's like my name's uh, Moon Cricket River Bean. <laughs> man, what, what kind of I'm a Native American you? kung fu expert. Man, that shit crazy. What man? What kind of pussy you think he get? What up, my native soul, brother? My red bone. No, and and for fire, I guess I'll, I, I'm what hoping that there's not a lot. Uh, uh, no, fire, fire plays a big fucking part here, so I can't do the thing that I was thinking of doing, which is just shouting everything fire says. You can do fire. the Jew alien. Fire. Fire. Uh, you can do that. Sure, why not? 
<laughs> Damn it, I was hoping Beavis. Or, or Lundy? Miss LeVay, so did you get Jumbo kicked out of the military? What? <laughs> I don't yeah, know. this escalated quickly. I just remember her saying something about contact in the military. Kicked out of that! What? Wait, wait, wait. Would being kicked out, I guess, fuck, I guess it depends on how you look. No, he's just being worked extra hard while there. Fucking silence face, censored face. I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's, the col it's the colon with the fucking X next to it. <laughs> and all this shit was about to happen. What the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> I, made that, I made that laugh. <laughs> I had to fuck her pussy. I need at least 3,000 credits. <laughs> you are not the woman I would sell. <laughs> you would not get me any credits. <laughs> if you excuse me, I need to go to Bug Elephant Synagogue. <laughs> if you excuse me, I need to get Jedi blood for my... Blood bread. If you <laughs> if you excuse me, I need to go get into a pod and stop to collect the collect the time. By the way, in this bit, there's multiple waters. It's a, it's a <laughs> all of them. Are, all of them are explaining to the rest in like a massive meeting of waters why they have to go. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's 15, 15 <laughs> Wattos, one after the next, putting his hat up on the rack and taking a suitcase, walking I up. I must go rape young men in space, Hollywood. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Jew. <laughs> I, I, I got Jedi teeth to lay my eggs in. You do realize he stole shit from me, right? He stole pills that I need for pain management. He also lied to get into the military. Don't be snitching! <laughs> Don't be stealing. This you is what... Jedi mind tricks would not work on me. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to get into the military. <laughs> See how that's your business, our problem. Fucking the diagonal face. I'm getting more enjoyment out of how I'm reading these than what I'm actually reading. Look, the water voice is very fun to do. <laughs> it's very fun. I'm, I, I haven't told Nick this yet, but if Scarby dies, I am doing a water character 100%. <laughs> I'm from like, a military family. Just thinking of Hans Gruber being like, you have a bunch of Vados on the floorboards right now, do you not? <laughs> and you just hear really muffled, like, <laughs> I will show you the woman. Oh, boy. <laughs> you can have the woman from the boy. Oh. The guy must give the boy. Man, how do you spell water? I'm going to look up. Jedi? <laughs> How you spell Watto? I'm gonna look up Watto uh, concentration clamp. <laughs> uh, w a t t o. I got it going. I have oodles of respect for the military. I don't want total shit bags getting in. Fine. He lied about being a druggie just to get in. Uh, don't you do drugs? Nope. I don't even drink. Bills don't count. No, because they're prescribed to me for legitimate reasons. Oh, if they're prescribed, then they aren't drugs. True. <laughs> you know, Wada's got a point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying the fuck out of this. I, I shouldn't I, be doing. I shouldn't be amusing myself like this. This is fucking stupid. No, the, 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 you're I mean, learning why. More. I do the fucking Watto voice. <laughs> Let's pretend that you broke your neck and someone stole the pain pills you needed. Would you be like, oh, that's okay. Wow, you're very bitter. Someone snitch on you in the past? Just an uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry before you cut you off, Lundy. I'm just imagining, like, 
<laughs> and him reviewing Hogwarts Legacy and him being like, Geech is a little too far. Yeah, that's why you're passed. Yep. <laughs> I have... <laughs> they told the, the, the huts that I was selling boys. <laughs> this is why I will not sell the boy, but I will sell the woman. Have someone steal something from you and see how it feels. It's what? happened plenty of times. <laughs> Do you think Watto is my real name? <laughs> it is Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> they think I committed suicide in space. Let them steal your money, too. Uh, I'm not even bothering with this anymore. But my friend, my good dear friend, the, the baby powered robot, Hillary Clinton, <laughs> she came, got me out of prison. So yeah, get pissed because I thought about calling them. I'm thinking of, of Hillary Clinton dressing. Like an HK unit, just dressed up as fucking Hillary Clinton, eating a baby. Hmm. See ya, okay? Oh no, she wanted to call the military. Let's ban her. That's what I said, too. I'm banned just for thinking about snitching? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I say that because she spells it L-A-W-L -L as if it is an intended on being pronounced. You're sticking up for a shady guy because of an IRC bond. Lol. I'm sticking up for anyone and removing snitches and stupid bitches and getting the riches. Also, ho bros before hoes. <laughs> Wait, who did I snitch on? Oh, please tell me. I'm dying to know. We're done. This is boring. Oh, oh, good. We have a new person, Clay. Hi, guys. I'm Clay. No, I don't know. Fucking know. Yeah, make him buggy <laughs> in South Park. <laughs> I, just, I don't know what the fuck to do. Make him a cowboy. Clay is like a cowboy, eh? Okay. Like some corn fed motherfucker from the mid. Wait. So, in that link, r.org slash. Miss LeVay sex scandal 06.html, etc. That's two different people. I thought it was two pictures of that guy. Oh. I thought that was a steer we done lost on the rain. One of them being a guy, one of them being a woman. Don't it look like a tranny? Hell yeah. <laughs> look, this one's 2005. Calling them trannies was actually quite progressive at the time. You serious? Well, yeah, but <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I have to add that quote. She's got so much makeup on, I figured she was trying to cover stubble. <laughs> so to sum up everything that we have, we have heard so far, uh, Jumbo talks to someone named Remy, apparently trying to like get in her good graces. Uh, by talking about having fucked Miss LeVay and how, like, weird and awful of an experience it was. Wait, wait did um, you say Remy? Yes. R-E-M-Y? I mean, R -Y. I? R-3-M-Y. Oh, fuck, I remember that person. Um... So Jumbo tries to get in Remy's good graces. There's another dude named Snoopy. Uh, who's like somehow related to all this? I don't know. Guess friends with Jumbo. Uh, then Miss LeVay goes on a big old fucking rant, uh, and talks about how he's a big old liar and all the all the horrible things that he said were not true. Um, but all the good things he said were true. Um, and uh, then apparently, uh, vapor and fire approach Miss LeVay saying, Did you try to get him kicked out of the military? And she's like, No. But then she goes, but it'd be reasonable if I wanted to because I respect the military and he's a drug addict and I don't want drug addicts in the military. And I'm like, why would that be a bad thing anyway? I'm just thinking about snitching on him. Like, what's the problem with that? Um, and Fire doesn't particularly like that line. So um, <clears throat> now we're at an epic discovery. Uh, we are talking in <clears throat> hashtag politics. Topic is... Tony Snow, I've read and listened to your POV for years. We love you, Speedy Recovery. This is a lot of people. Fuck. 
just just make random noises. I'm sure uh, I that one too. For Jupa Sour, Eeyore, Gop, Orange Pop, Harson, Loco, Demo Publi, I am just gonna read normally. <laughs> That's fine. Harson, the Brit government, lied about attacking Iraq. The Brit government is just as bad as the Iran government. It is just like it is just that we like the Brits better than the Iranians. Then Eeyore says, Harson, I hope you and I get to share a nice big bomber together. Gop says, Harson the British. Orange Pop says, Hey, Miss LeVay. Harson says, Eeyore, I'm straight. Loco says, Blah. Demo Publi says, Gop, sorry if factual info can't back up your claims. I can. Sorry. Loco, lunchtime. Fire. <clears throat> Miss LeVay, hey, sup, cutie? Hi. They was talking about you in PP4L. All right, I gotta run. <clears throat> Gop, do you suck up much? Damn feminists corrupt our men. And I couldn't resist. Uh, G Wolf has joined hashtag politics. Suck up. I needed to see you. <laughs> Imagine that. It's been so long. I've been on vacation. <laughs> they put a fucking hijab on this British woman, says some random person. <laughs> this is fucking chaos. <laughs> Jupa Sour, but you have no proof I am lying. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he always brings it up. BF and I drove from NYC to Key West. Jupa Sour I, uh, and I, on the other hand, have proof that you're saying incorrect stuff. <laughs> that one's stuff. my favorite, though, because of, like, what sold. He's a dirty capo, and he sold out the... <laughs> he's like, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Grab Rat is jealous of some Aussie guy you got. Miss LeVay, how is rehab? You know what this is reminding me of, too? Because I'm assuming most, if not all, of these fuckers are whackbaggers. Or were. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe, like, one of the other Opie and Anthony message boards at the time. Because there were a couple. <coughs> I just realized, like, the re a big reason I left Whackbag is a lot of the reasons I just left D.GG. Just replace... Trans debate with seeing Obama called the N word every day, multiple times, <laughs> and just endless debates about like knockout game shit. And it's like, yeah, I'm tired of this server. Uh, and this, because like, I'm not joking, Lundy and Goat. This is <laughs> this is literally how Whackbag was in at this time period. I like, don't drink <laughs> and I don't do drugs. I've never been to rehab. Bloody fucking hell. And yes, Fire, my boyfriend moved here from Australia. Miss LeVay went to the Scientology <laughs> rehab Narconon. He got scared when I said I was talking to you. He wants you. You got addicted to, pres to prescription painkillers. Gop, do you think the polls are correct about Bush's approval rating? <laughs> ha. My boyfriend and I harassed Scientologists on the trip. Demo Publi got 100%. And might I say your drug-free lifestyle is taking you places. Miss LeVay, sweet, did you take pics? Hate Scientology! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, just, I just love how everywhere this is. How absolutely everywhere this is. Yep, this is how Wackback was back then. Just he would start a server of like, oh, here's like, uh, here's a funny video of like <coughs> an angry video game nerd. And people would just be like, you know what's ruined video games? Muslims and blacks. <laughs> <laughs> Gop, why? Demo Publi polls can't lie. Fire has left politics. Oh. Miss LeVay, try it with Pente Pentecostals next time. They had a table set up in, on in New York City streets, and he randomly started yelling at them. 
Republicans can lie too. <laughs> it's just it's everywhere. Fuck. I can't. Ugh. I took a piss on the side of a Scientology church in Columbus. <laughs> uh, BRB from Eeyore. BRB. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> uh Gop, anyone can lie. Miss LeVay, I don't drink or do drugs. I hope this lights a fire under the UK public's arse. Gop, 33 to 34% by two. Different sources seem to me to be the clo close to accurate. The Brits can get down when they want to. Miss LeVay's website is awesome. Mongo, you make it sound like liberal, don't lie. Demo Publi, where's that source from? How did they take the test? Gop, scroll up, orange pop, link please. And what test did they use? <laughs> Who was the population? Fox News, see the questions for yourselves. Miss LeVay might get mad, I'll let her link it. Good, Miss LeVay, link please. Well, Fox News always lies. I don't watch Fox News, could be true, who knows? <clears throat> And then Ms. LeVay posts a, a link to, I think, photos to from somebody named Techno Rat. These are our vacation pics. Any pictures containing me, him, or our friends are in a private album. <laughs> you can't see me or him or any of our friends. You can see buildings we took pictures of. <laughs> That's fucking... That's not the website I have. Miss LeVay, great <laughs> photos, thank you. Captures many U.S. towns well. Reminds me of York Beach, Maine, which I particularly love. Eeyore, well, plan on traveling more once we rebuild our we, we plan on traveling more once we rebuild our funds. Miss LeVay, do check out York Beach, Maine and Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I have several sites. No, sorry, that's Miss LeVay to Orange Pop. I have several sites. Miss LeVay, this one's my favorite. MissLevay.com slash I always win. Eeyore, I'll consider it. We avoided New England this trip simply because it was out of the way. Hey, why did you take down take that down, Miss LeVay? You can try and guess the new DR DIR if you'd like. Ha. Miss LeVay. K. Oh look, oh look, BRB. Hey, Miss LeVay! Ha. Huh? I found it. What do I win? Congrats. Or Orange Pop links to orbit.shell.net slash liquid slash miss levee slash no i win eeyore says ha ha she looks familiar she's a sex trade worker lol who knows nice titties though i haven't seen those yet still looking at her familiar looking little twat so are they still uh, talking about the the date or is this just no orange pop has found uh i guess uh fucking pictures of miss levee getting fucked or something along those lines um and is harassing her about it right now and eeyore is piling on saying i love this this is great um <laughs> miss levee you there mm-hmm miss levee excellent stuff thanks no problem miss levee do you have any more pics to share no not really miss levee whose picture whose finger is that miss levee you there real quickly Wendy, can we wreck on something what can you give that person like the extra extra read all about it voice i was about to say yes <clears throat> <laughs> miss levee you have any more pics to share miss levee miss levee is it true that you get blue hitler miss levee whose finger is that miss levee are you there i'm here miss levee oh okay i thought i was lagged so whose finger is that miss Nobody levee is it true that hitler's a shit eater oh you got a big clit, is that sensitive? Miss LeVay? <laughs> Orange Pop, with any luck, she's making new movies. I know, right? Pings, Miss LeVay. I think Miss LeVay is busy on cam. <laughs> Ew. Orange Pop, let's hope. BRB. No, I'm busy talking to my boyfriend. Miss LeVay, was it your boyfriend's finger in the movie? <laughs> <clears throat> no, that's way old stuff. That's my stuff, does he know? Yes, he knows. Wow, you guys are swingers. That's cool. Can you guess what website this is on? Uh, no. I mean, I read it earlier. Orbit.shells. Encyclopedia Dramatica. Uh, oh. He doesn't give a shit that I was with someone else four years ago. 
So seriously, you got a clit? You got a big clit? Is it sensitive? <clears throat> no, we're not swingers. We didn't know each other four years ago. Miss Lay, I see. All cleared up. But really, you got a huge clit. How sensitive is it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So yeah. Uh, long story short. Dude fucked a fat chick, talked about it in a, in a self-deprecating way. Fat chick got pissed off about it. Dude tried to apologize. Fat chick tried to get him kicked out of the military uh, for being on drugs. Uh, she got yelled at for that. Then a bunch of people found porn of her from years ago and harassed her about it. That's the story. <laughs>